Yo, what is cracking? Because it is your boy Cyber Black here today, bringing you guys NPL, aka National Pokeball League, week number two. And today, your Detroit Live Pirates are going to be taking on the Toronto Star Raptors, aka Jolt, aka basically the man that runs the league. And man, oh man, oh man, am I hyped! So today we are facing Jolt, and I'm going to be nervous. Or I'm going to be nervous. I'm definitely going to be nervous. But I am going to be honest with you guys. I am very nervous to play Jolt, just just because Jolt is an amazing battler. He's an amazing draft. He knows what he's doing. It's definitely going to be something that it's going to be very terrifying so today um I, i'm here to bring you guys my sets and then we're going to go over the match now this is going to be a post con match just because uh with the npl if i am going to do wi-fi i, I kind of want to do them uh I want to do them more post con that way I can at least like give you a little bit more of my thought. I mean, obviously, live gives you a lot of thought, but you know, it's it's not it's not here and there, you know. Uh, but today, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you guys or show you guys my team. But first, let's go over drafts. But before we start the drafts, if you guys are hyped for today's Wi-Fi battle, aka NPL match, then make sure you guys hit that thumbs up down below. It's gonna be greatly appreciated. If you guys wanna hit that thumbs down, at least tell me what I can improve on, and that way I can get that thumbs up next time for me. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But before we do that, make sure you guys go check out my boy Jolt. Of the token minorities his links are down below make sure you guys go check it make sure you guys go check me as well on my twitch twitter and instagram and with that being said let's go ahead and go into this draft so today we are bringing you guys the draft uh we're gonna go ahead and go over mine which is going to be heatran thunderous eye glyscore tentacruel mega galleade noivern ambipom conkelder celebi umbreon and beautifly just because everyone's sleeping on beautifly but no one's actually like everyone's questioning like why you got beautifly like don't worry about why i got beautifly uh, but let's go ahead and go over my man's Jolt's team. Uh, so Jolt has a very, very, very nice draft. He has Victini, Sylveon, the best Mega in the draft format, which is going to be Mega Venusaur, called it. Uh, then we have Empoleon, Salamence, Cloyster, Ditto, Azelf, Pile of Swine, Nosepass, and Lucario is who we franchise. Now, um, a couple key threats, obviously, is going to be Sylveon, Victini, uh, Salamence, Mega Venusaur, uh, Lucario. Definitely has a lot of, you know, a lot of threats. And then, but he does have the bulk as well, uh, consisting of Ditto, potentially, could, you know, obviously get some imposter shenanigans going. Uh, Empoleon can be very defensive, as well as Sylveon can be very defensive. Uh, Nosepass, Pile of Swine, just all those mods can be very defensive in different ways. Uh, especially having with a Moxie or an Intimidate Salamence, that's going to be kind of rough to deal with. Uh, but Mega Venusaur, one of the bulkiest mods in the game is definitely going to be hard to challenge but i'm sure we can take it on um but with that being said all right let's go over my team a little bit of who i'm bringing and then obviously we'll get right into the match and we'll see who jolt is bringing so today as you guys see on your screen we have danikai simp now dan did help build this team so uh you know i did him a little favor i named all my mods after dan so you'll see so we have danikai danikai senpai <laughs> i know i know it's it's, it's really bad <laughs> Uh, but uh, we have Thunder's uh, Eye here with Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, and Psychic. Obviously with a Timid Nature, I believe. I think it's Timid. Yeah, I believe it's Timid. Obviously, we're going to be running him full offensive with an Expert Belt this week just because... Um we definitely need to run some offense against his defense. Uh, like, like we have Psychic for Mega Venusaur. We have Dark Pulse for Victini, Flash Cannon for Sylveon, and uh, Thunderbolt just for Stab, and as well as uh, I think if we want to get some damage on the Salamence or Empoleon or potentially even. Uh, Lucario, because I think Lucario is not like the bulkiest mon. So that's going to be Daniki Senpai, aka Thunder's Eye. Next, we're going to go to Mega Gatley here, Daniki, Daniki, Daniki Ken. I, I don't know what these names are coming from, uh, but you know, shout out to my boy Andy for uh, genning these. Shout out to Velis, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we out here genning, we don't give a fuck. Uh, but, anyways, uh, we do have Mega Gatley here, obviously, with Swords and Substitute, Zen Headbutt, and Drain Punch. Uh, obviously, with the Steadfast, but it's going to turn into Inner Focus. Uh, we're going to be running him with a. Oh, almost at a modest, uh, but it's actually going to be a Jolly Nature. Uh, he's going to be a setup mod this week with Swords Dance, Substitute, Zen, Headbutt, and Drain Punch, obviously with the Galleadite. Uh, so it's going to be that chance if we get the setup, we have to. Now, unfortunately, if he does bring Victini in, then we're going to be kind of in a situation. So that's going to be uh, Galleadite here. Next, we have Heatran uh, with the Chapel Berry, obviously, um, with a nice and powerful, I don't know what nature that is, and I'm not even going to try to attempt to go for it. Um, but anyways, we have uh, Stealth Rock, Magma Storm, Hidden Power, Ground, and Substitute on our Heatran here today. Um, obviously, you know, he's going to be kind of like a setup slash trap mon. Uh, so if we can get a Magma Storm up with the, uh, let's say, Mega Venusaur, uh, Pile of Swine if we want to, um, Lucario, no, if we can, like, or, or even Sylveon if we want to. If we can get them trapped in a Magma Storm, we can actually do some, you know, uh, some decent amount of work. So that means we can get our Stealth Box up if we need to. If it's a mon that's weak to it, uh, we can set up a Substitute and maybe just start, keep firing those moves off. You never know. Um, 
obviously has the flash fire ability but the chopper bear i'm hopefully 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 is going to come into play so that's just danny key himself right there uh but next we do have danny key kun which is going to be ambi palm with the normal gem fake out obviously with substitute ice punch and brick pick uh brick break i'm sorry uh this week is going to be a very big match with substitute because if we're gonna get a substitute up this week uh it's gonna be kind of helping us from a lot of things especially with like uh nose pass t waves uh Ditto imposters if we if it comes up. I don't know. So basically substitute's gonna be helping us out a lot this week. Um again, level one hundred obviously as you can see with a adamant nature. Um Ambi Palm is just gonna be a lead mon that hits hard, and that's basically just how to call it. So uh, that's Ambi Palm here, aka Danny Key Con. Next we have just Danny Key with two odds instead of one, uh, with the Akaberry. Uh, Oka, Akaberry, I can't say that. Uh, obviously with Earth Power, Psychic, Giga Drain, and Baton Pass, obviously with going to be a Jolly, no, 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 timid nature. Um, but time pass obviously for the switch out. Uh, obviously, we're not gonna get any stats, you know, stab boost. Uh, but again, we have Giga Drain for stab, psychic for stab, and we're gonna have Earth Power for Victini. Uh, actually, Victini, Empoleon, and I think Nose Pass and Lucario. Yeah, so it's uh, basically Earth Power is gonna be hitting hard this week. Uh, we're gonna be running a special one. I was really, 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 really banking on we should have ran uh, Nasty Plot because Nasty Plot would have done a lot of work to his team, but unfortunately we wouldn't have been able to outspeed much, especially if he had a Vic T uh, Choice Scarf Victini. So that would kind of, that would kind of suck. Um, but last but not least, we do have our last mon, which is going to be uh, Danny Key Ken with uh, obviously our Tentacle here. Uh, Tentacle is on our MPL draft, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but today on the Tentacle, we're going to be running a special, or I'm sorry, a setup Tentacle, obviously with Toxic Spike, Swords, Dance, Poison Jab, and Knockoff. Uh, obviously having a, what is a, 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 a Jolly Nature? Yeah, a Jolly Nature. Uh, I think Adamant probably would have been a little more beneficial just because, uh, obviously, you know, Tentacle doesn't have the best attack stat, but he's still pretty good with it. Um, obviously, he's holding the Black Sludge, Toxic Spikes, obviously. I'm gonna set those up swords dance and then poison jab and knock off everything honestly that's just basically what's gonna come down to if we see Empoleon, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble as well as salamence but i'm sure we can work around it so with that being said that is gonna be the squad uh with that all i think i am going to go into the match so with that being said i will see you guys there all right, so we are here with the match with Jolt, and Jolt has brought a very, very crazy team. He actually has brought Lucario, Sylveon, Azelf, uh, Piloswine, Victini, and Mega Venusaur. Today, we actually, again, like I said, brought uh, Ambipom, Gallade, uh, Mega Gallade, I should say, uh, Thunder's Eye, Heat Trans, Celebi, and Tentacool. So I don't really know if he really predicted the Tentacool and the Ambipom, but that's cool. Um, I was really thinking about bringing Noivern this week, but unfortunately we did not bring Noivern. Uh, but with that being said, uh, definitely we're going to have to watch out for Lucario, because Lucario can do a lot to my team, especially if he is Choice Banded Extreme Speed or even Choice Banded Drain Punch, because it's going to be doing a lot to Ambipom. Uh, I think it would do a good ton of Gallade. Um, Heatran's not going to live it. Tentacool might not live it. I'm not sure. Either way, we have to watch out for uh, uh, Lucario this week. Lucario is going to be a big key to this match. Uh, Sylveon, if this thing's choice specs, we're going to have a little bit of trouble. But we do have Heatran to kind of take care of it if it gets in that situation. Uh, we have Azelf here. Azelf could be a lead Stealth Rock Explosion set. We never know with Azelf. It could be Choice Scarfed. It could be Chopple Bear. Or, uh, what's that? I think I forgot the move. Or I forgot the berry that... Uh, Colbert Berry. It could be Colbert Berry uh, just for uh, Mega Gallade or Ambipom or maybe even Tentacruel knockoffs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you definitely have to watch out for that if he does. If he is uh, Colbert Berry. Uh, then next we have Piloswine, who's a defensive monster with an Evil Light. So we definitely have to watch out for that because um, we don't have too much to take care of. Uh, we don't have too much to take care of the defensive stats, um, but. Like I said, we don't really have any with knockoff besides Tentacle. So if we can get in that situation, we can do it. Uh, but he'd probably be fearing a skull too much. But then he has the monster itself, which is going to uh, be a big factor this game. Uh, that's going to be Victini, because Victini does a hole in my team. Uh, Victini can just basically uh, recreate everything, but we do have the Heat Trend uh, with Flash Fire to kind of like negate that. So he's going to have to kind of like watch where he Flash Fires. If now, if Heat Train goes down, then we're definitely going to be kind of fucked if we, uh, if he gets that chance to be created. And then he has the monster himself, the best Mega in draft form, in my opinion, which is going to be Mega Venusaur, just because we have him in our MPL draft. So with that being said, uh, enough talking, enough talking. We're going to go ahead and get into this, uh, this battle here. Um, 
It was a 29 uh, play battle. Uh, it was definitely a, a crazy one. So I'm going to actually lead off with Ambipom here just because I didn't really know what he wanted to lead off with. And it kind of gave me a good chance to potentially get a normal gem fake out off. Uh, so as you can see, he is going to Mega Evolve here. And uh, Mega Venusaur is a very big tank. Uh, even though this fake out normal gem, uh, or <laughs> normal gem fake out, I'm sorry. I just It's, it's so, so late for me. Um... But obviously, uh, the normal gem is going to fake it or strengthen the fake out, and it's going to do a nice quarter of that thing. So it's kind of telling me, like, okay, I think Ambipom could do something to this guy. Uh, but unfortunately, he is going to stay in as I switch out because I did predict him to switch out. Maybe if he thought I had, like, the uh, fire punch, but he's actually, I'm sorry, he's actually, in, or he actually is going to switch out. I am just talking too fast for my own good. Um, but he's actually going to make a very good prediction and actually go into Victini here as I go into Celebi. Now, I don't know why I stayed in. Uh, I should have really predicted the U-turn, but the U-turn did come from the Victini, and that kind of gives him a good switch initiative. Now, granted, I could have predicted him um, to go into Pile of Swine, so I could have went for the Giga Drain, uh, but I just went for the safe Earth Power just in case if he was going to go straight for the V-Create. Um, because, again, like I said, he... He's risking a lot going for the V create. I just, I kind of like in my head was like, okay, I know he's not gonna go for V create, but just in case if he did. But uh, he's in here with Pelly Swine. As you guys have seen Earth Power do nothing to this thing, so we kind of, you know, decided that we're like, okay, cool, we're just gonna go for a Giga Drain. So he sets up the Stellar Box as I go for the Giga Drain, uh, or I'm sorry, the Earth Power. As he switches back into Victini, uh, it's kind of giving him some switch initiative. So I predicted him to go into something else, uh, possibly as such as Mega Venusaur, just to kind of like come in and sludge bomb. But uh, so I went for the Psychic. Obviously, it didn't do really that much. Uh, and at this point, we're kind of like looking a little down. We're like, damn, dude, Jolt's making all these good predictions. But finally, I do make the switch into my Heat Train here, just because I kind of figured a V create to come from him next time, or potentially some kind of fire move. Um, but obviously, we don't see that come. And you guys see, you turn do do no damage to this guy. Uh, he trains a freaking bulk monster, but uh, he's actually going to switch out and he's actually going to go into Groot, which is his Mega Venusaur here. Now, it kind of did throw me off to why he went into that, uh, but as you guys can see, you'll see why. So, we're going to set up a substitute here uh, as he is going to Earthquake, so that does tell us that he has Earthquake, so we do have to watch out for that. Um, now, again, like I said here, I don't really know what was going through my head. Maybe I was like, you know what? Maybe he'll switch. Maybe he won't. Uh, but we're actually going to go for a Magma Storm here. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. I see what we're doing here. Uh, so we're actually going to you know, go for a Magma Storm. It's actually going to do a nice chunk to him. Uh, but the good thing is, is he can't switch out here now. Now, fortunately, if he does go for an Earthquake, it is going to hit hard on us. Um, but obviously, you know, he was predicting me to switch into something else. So he goes for Sludge Bomb. Doesn't affect me. And we can easily get some more of that damage off from the nice and powerful... Um, the nice and powerful Magma Storm. Now, I should have really went for a Magma Storm there. Because uh, I think if I went for a Magma Storm, it would have put him in a decent range. Or at least it could potentially could have been taken out even if it was a high roll. Um, but unfortunately, here he is going to synthesis, or synthesis. And that's going to be kind of rather unfortunate. Just because we don't really... You know, we could have had the chance to kill it off. But unfortunately, we go for a Magma Storm here. And that's going to miss. And what do you know? He goes for the synthesis. And that's going to put him back at full basically so it's kind of like we just like magma stormed and substituted and all that for nothing because he does have earthquake now um if he was running uh earthquake on him just because he knew he was going to come uh that's definitely unfortunate for us but like i said it's a very good play on his part and like we said magma storm is going to do a decent chunk at least so it's going to do uh earthquake range but unfortunately this earthquake is going to take out my substitute but um i mean i guess you have to expect it just because Mega Venusaur is a base 100 attack, so this thing is not bad by any means offensively, or at least physical wise. Um, now, uh, we do have him back at about under half range, and so you know, I said I decided I was like, you know what, I predicted him to go for the synthesis, so I'm just gonna get step my rocks up, and uh, he actually just goes for the straight kill play. I'm like, oh, damn it, uh, because I, I was really hoping that like one more Magma Storm would have took him down. And then we could have, like, you know, ma uh, Magma Storm again and potentially even taken him out. But either way, we got our rocks up. Our rocks up. Uh, and it gave me a good chance to go into my Galate here to at least set up a Sword Dance. So I really had to be careful of what he was going to do. And I really had to calc how much a Sludge Bomb was going to do to Mega Galate here. Um, now, with, again, with Mega Galate in here, uh, it's going to be definitely kind of, like, hard to set up. Especially if he has Victini still around. Um, because if we really wanted to, we could hit everything pretty hard. Now, if it was, now he didn't bring in uh, Salamence, which means he didn't get to Intimidate. He did bring Ditto, so he doesn't get to copy my stats. And, uh, basically, we can just kind of, like, keep going from there. Because it, we can either basically uh, Zen Headbutt or Drain Punch everything. Now, unfortunately, if he does bring in Victini, it's going to be kind of hard. But we, in fact, do a, actually get a Sludge Bomb here. 
or he does land the sludge bomb i'm sorry as we do get the sword dance up and we go for the zen hunt button that's going to take out the mega venusaur so i was actually kind of happy in my head right here at this part i was like yes jolt didn't six oh me baby jolt did not six oh me and that's what i needed so obviously here he's going to send in lucario lucario is a big threat to my team um, just because like I said, he does have the extreme speed, but thankfully here as I said He is not choice banded, but rather life orbs. So unfortunately uh, My mega gallad here is gonna go down now if we were running a little more bulk I think we might have been able to live that I'm not positive um, But unfortunately he is gonna take down my mega gallad, but that does give us a good chance to go into thunder's eye uh, Thunder's eye like I said is very offensive so we can kind of like play a little prediction game if we need to um so like I said, he's actually going to switch my He's going to go into Sticks here, which is going to be his Pile of Swine. Uh, this kind of gives us a good chance to get some rocks damage on him as well, but potentially go for moves that could at least take this thing out. Now, granted, he will, in fact, get a good chance to bring in Victini and Sweep, potentially, because he train is gone now. Uh, but we go for the Dark Pulse as he goes for the Ice Shard. It doesn't take me out, and we actually can get off a, uh, a Flash Cannon. And actually, we're we're sitting at 4-4 four and four right now, which is actually not horrible. I was actually sitting here like, damn, we're actually doing pretty all right right now. Uh, but like I said, you know, Jolt's a very good battler, man. I mean, I don't under ever underestimate anybody. Uh, it's just, you know, you get a little nervous when you play someone that's just, like, that good at competitive. So... Uh, he is going to bring in Lucario here to do the same thing to my mech as he did my Mega Gallade, and that's going to be to Extreme Speed Thunder's Eye and take me out, which is rather unfortunate, but again, like we said, we're getting Life Orb damage on him, so that's all we can really, you know, play on. Uh, so right now, it is 4-3 in his favor. Uh, but we are going to go into our boy Ambipom here. He is going to go uh, switch out. Uh, very good play on his part. Uh, but he's actually going to go into Rever... I can't ever say that. Reverberate. I can't say that. Reverberate. I don't know how to say it. Um... Either way, uh, we're going to go for a fake out onto the Sylveon. It's going to do a hell of a lot of damage. Imagine that normal gem. And man, we would have been. Mm, 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 mm. Now, I don't really know why he uh, switched into Sylveon here. Um, but maybe it was just because he, he knew he could get a, a hyper or hyper voice on anything uh, since my heat train is gone. But either way, uh, we're going to go into Celebi here just to sack off basically. But uh, he's actually going to protect here just to probably scout of what I was going to do. Um, just to see maybe if I was... I don't know if he gets poison jab or not, but maybe he thought I was like double hit or something. Uh, but I think if we were double hit, I think we may have been able to do something to this team. Uh, but either way, uh, we are going to go for the Psychic onto the Sylveon. It is going to get a special defense drop, which is going to uh, help us out a little bit more. So Celebi at least went down with a fighting chance and got us that special defense drop, which is actually really good because I'm really f happy about that. Um... But obviously here, he is in Sylveon still, and now we can easily just go into Danny King Ken, which is going to be our Tentacruel here, and uh, we can actually, potentially if we wanted to set up, because like we said, he didn't bring Salamence, he didn't bring Ditto, so he can't really copy our stats. Now unfortunately, if he does bring in Victini, he is going to be able to get a Bolt Strike off on us, but that's fine. Uh, it's kind of weird, because I played two Victinis this week. I played Bison with Victini, and I played, uh, I played... Jolt here, obviously, with Victini, so um, obviously here we are going to, in fact, actually... Uh, I think when we do Swords Dance, we did, I didn't even say what we did, um, but either way, we get a Poison Jab off to kill the Sylveon, which is actually really good, and so now, right now, the game is actually 2-3 in Jolt's favor still, which is, uh, again, it's unfortunate, but just showing myself, I'm like, hey, I'm actually keeping up with him, you know what I'm saying, and like I said, like, I, I work really, 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 like, this week has just been hectic, it's been crazy, I haven't had much time to team build, but, uh, believe it or not, whole, I can never say it, Behold and hold or hold and behold uh, He does miss the Zen headbutt, which is actually like, you know, it could have preserved his 3-0 um, But obviously here I have to sack my uh, Tentacle here just because I, I, I'm not gonna live Zen headbutt and the thing is that I at least put him in range with that knockoff to bring an Ambipom and get a kill in so that's actually gonna be pretty cool um, so, uh, as we have Ambipom in here, we can easily go for the fake out, which is pretty cool. Um, just because Am Ambipom is that good model where you can just keep switching in, switching out, switching in, switching out, and just keep getting fake offs because it's, it's going to hurt like a banshee. So, he's actually going to bring in Lucario here um, as we get the fake out off. Now, I really had to bank on living extreme speed from this. Um, so, I calculated it and obviously said I can live, and I'm like, oh, perfect. So, actually, he is going to go for the extreme speed, which is life form. We actually live with a good amount of HP still. Um, but unfortunately, he does have Choice Card Victini, which is rather unfortunate. 
Scorch because he can take us out with that. So we're just going to go for a Brick Break and that's actually going to take out the uh, Lucario. And uh, basically all he has left now is Victini and his Azelf. And as you guys can see, he's going to bring in Vengeance, which is going to be Victini here, which he can easily just go for a V-Create and obliterate my Ambipom. And that's going to be the game two. Oh, unfortunately, we take our first L in League format for these two seasons of the MPL and the NPL. Um, but either way, it was a really good game against Jolt. I really, really... Uh, built my confidence playing against him after that match. You know, it, it kind of showed me, like, even though we lost, I can still hang, you know what I'm saying, with the big dogs. You know, beating Dan was, like, well, beating Dan in the uh, in the MPL was a very, very awesome experience. Now, unfortunately, we did lose Cloud last week in the NPL, which, again, was rather unfortunate. But the thing is, is we, you know, we we, we hung in with her with Joel. And that's, it actually made me feel really good, you know. And, and we even talked about it. He's like, man, you know, you did really well, you know. He's like, and uh, hopefully that gets, <laughs> hopefully it gets game of the week, to be honest. Because uh, it was a very good game, you know what I'm saying. Again, 2-0. Uh, it wasn't what I wanted because, obviously, you know, you always want to win. But, unfortunately, um... It never goes in your favor. You have to play how you, you have to. You, you got to play that game in order to find out the outcome. So with that being said, uh, again, go check out my boy Jolt. Uh, great guy. Love his content. Make sure you guys go check him out. This man is almost to 1,500 subscribers. It's amazing. And you know, it's just, it's just good to see a friend take growth with his with his you know with the leagues and the tournaments he does. Like he does like no pause tournament. He does the March Madness tournament. Which Jolt, if you're watching this, I really want to get up and bud because. I think I could hang with the big dogs. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, bark up my own tree, but I just want to participate a little more competitive, and that's what I've been doing lately. So again, if you guys enjoyed the today's match, make sure, or make sure you guys hit that thumbs up down below. Again, make sure you go check out my boy Joel. He will be in the description as well as me. You know, our Instagram, our Twitter, our Twitch. It stays lit. Go follow. Go sub. Go do all that. But more importantly, make sure you guys put in the comment section below of who do you think was today's MVP. And with that being said, uh, hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumb down. But if you hit that thumbs down, at least let me know what I can improve on. Make sure you guys hit subscribe button or hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. I try to upload Pokemon content frequently. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. So make sure you guys have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. What is Crack and Close? See you.